Hello everyone, it's Commander Savannah, so I'm back with Shadowrun Returns. This is part 22. It has been so long since I have played, and I'm excited. I'm hoping to kind of sit here and beat this today, but if not, definitely the next time. Um, so last we left off, we got contacted by Baron Samdi, the French guy, and we're returning after... Jessica and her crazy killer bugs that look absolutely atrocious. We do not like. So with that being said, let's check back in. And we also have to update Cherry Bomb on the unfortunate fate of her ex. Because even though he was unfortunately easily misguided, it still just sucks because he probably was a harmless guy who thought he was fighting the good fight, so to speak. Which, no, you were just being manipulated and used. Which unfortunately happens. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. And my dog is like by my mic breathing. As soon as I hit play, he's like, let me come. <laughs> let me just come over. Thank you, boy. It's okay. All right. So <laughs> the union. Getting justice for Sam is going to take more effort than it originally appeared. You didn't anticipate his killer being protected by a cult filled with giant, unkillable bugs. But she is. And if you're going to get to her, you're going to need to find a way around, or through, those bugs. After a taste of the belonging that the Universal Brotherhood offered, the sordid surroundings of the Seamstress's Union feel more like home than ever. Completely accurate completely accurate her tits are so freaking big oh my god oi give me another poor cherry bomb Cher oh, who are you a f are you a fan y'all just being needy her get up girl i love it i love cherry oh coyote i think coyote's my favorite um i'm gonna start with coyote because she's my favorite and then we're gonna break the news to cherry bomb i am just it's gonna suck Coyote's face is pale, and her voice is low, shaky. What the hell was that back there, woman? Just what the frag was that? <laughs> Honestly. It, I mean, it is. Bugs. Giant fragging bugs. And Sam's sister is their leader. If I didn't see it, there is no way I'd believe it. Giant unkillable bugs. She shudders, shakes it off. Fine, whatever. I want that woman dead now more than ever. If you go after her again, you think of me, okay? I'll be around, locked and loaded. If I go after her again, I'll think of you. You do that. I hope I can bring her with me. I love Coyote. Cherry, I've got some news to break to you. Cherry Bomb is swamped with customers, but when she catches a glimpse of you, she gets up on her tiptoes to talk to you over their heads. Hey there, Savannah. What's going on? Mm, yeah. I, like, Cherry's so sweet. She's someone I would definitely want to be gentle with. Hey, Cherry, listen. We need to talk about Shane. Shane? What about Shane? She deserves to know, as awful as it is. Not knowing is terrible. It's not good, Cherry. She looks you in the eye. Just tell it to me straight, Savannah. I'm a Baron's girl. Shane's dead. I can't tell you anything else right now. It's too dangerous. But I thought you should know. My God, Shane. She looks at her customers, then down at the bar top for a long moment before finally composing herself. Thanks for letting me know. Maybe we'll talk later. She continues processing the information. Then she remembers something. Oh, hey, Johnny Clean asked me to flag you down the minute I saw you. Said he's got someone who wants to talk to you. He sounded a little freaked out about it. He's waiting for you downstairs. Johnny Clean freaked out? Okay, I'll talk to him. 
The wind is out of her sails. Yeah, that'd be Wizard. Poor thing. John probably is the same old about hiring a team. Yeah. Good to see you around here, Chummer. Yeah, thanks. Um, why is there a... I can't... I don't believe... I don't know if it's derping or what. Do you see behind the bar the... I guess it's messing up. I'm not gonna... Uh, whatever. Oh, excuse me. Hi, I can't remember if I picked up anything on that last run. Because I talk about bringing a decker, and I never bring a decker. Yeah, that's me. Alright, alright. The man sizes you up as you approach. His carefully groomed hair and the shine on his shoes seems out of place for the barons. Hey, you looking for work? I got a little something, if you're up for it. It's a milk run. <laughs> In my experience, it's never a milk run. He grins, exposing a set of unnaturally white teeth. Don't worry, this one's as straightforward as they come. The job's a simple extraction. The people I represent are interested in acquiring the talents of a scientist named Sada. Unfortunately, Mr. Sada is currently engaged with Runraku, which means he's engaged for life. That doesn't sit well with the people I represent. They see it as a subversion of the free market. Mm. Yeah, I... Mm. Yeah, it's just one... Anyway, let's cut the chase. So, you want me to kidnap him for you? He flashes his pearly whites again. Exactly. But it has to be now. When Raku's shipping Sada out of Seattle in the morning for some sort of overseas research project, tonight he's being kept at a hidden research facility out here in the Barrens, just a couple of miles from here. I hear they've been bringing in unmarked shipments for weeks now, thinking that nobody notices. We don't care about any of that. We just want Sada before he's out of our reach. The place should be lightly guarded, probably Renacops. Get in, grab Sada, and get out. In exchange, I'm authorized to remit 9,000 Nguyen in payment. He fixes you with a hard stare. I am not, however, authorized to negotiate. I'm in. Let me see the Nguyen. We pay on delivery, friend. That's how it always works. I'll send the lab's location to your PDA, hire a team, and head there right away. Liberate Sada and deliver him to my employers. They'll have a car waiting outside the lab when you're done. Once Mr. Sada is on his way, meet me back here for payment. So, question. Am I to exhaust my dialogue with Johnny Clean, or am I getting an option to leave to do it and then we come back? I don't know. Hi, who are you? Oh! Yo, lady, have we met? You look familiar. I meet a lot of people, no problem. You need some brain benders tonight? I got some of that Merc stuff. Freakers, taxi drivers, you know. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother. Let me see what you've got. In this world and any other, be it video game, real or alternate universe, trust no one but yourself. With that being said, I never use these, so it is unnecessary. Bobby just cracks me up. I don't think I'll ever get over the dancers. Hey. Hello, stranger. I'm busy right now, so I hope you've got something that's worth my time. How about a list of every politician the Universal Brotherhood has bribed to date? I could certainly find someone interested in that information. We'll take some legwork to verify the veracity of such a list. How about 2,000? So of course, you know, if you had either of these etiquettes, which after this playthrough, I recommend getting the Shadowrunner one. I feel like my first time I played this, I did Social and Shadowrunner. But anyway, I'm, I'm at the end. I'm not that pressed for Nguyen. And even if I was, I don't have a choice. Um, 
deal? Good. I've got other business to attend to. Here's your money. Yeah, like the up in front of you. She's got cool hair. And I'm not just saying that because I have the same hair. Alright. Oh, clue. You alright, Savannah? Battered, bruised, but not yet beaten. I heard you made trouble with the Universal Brotherhood. They started it, but I aim to finish it. People are starting to say there's some dark dread going down in those chapter houses, like they're taking advantage of the poor folk who go there looking for help. I gotta say, that makes my blood boil. It's bad enough that the government labels half the population as probationary citizens. We don't need more people preying on the most defenseless members of society. And I hate to bring race into it, but it's a fact that a good number of people who go to the Brotherhood for help are metas like me. But what options do we have? Do you realize that it would take an act of Congress to grant me full citizenship? And they have yet to do it once. Wars are started more easily than a meta gets a sin in this country. So it's no wonder we turn to people like the Brotherhood, who claim to listen to our woes and speak on our behalf. He catches himself, takes a breath, and visibly calms. Sorry. I just know some folks who went to the Brotherhood for those very reasons. I might have ended up there myself if Mrs. Kubota hadn't taken me in. Whatever's going on in there, I trust you'll put an end to it, one way or another. You can count on it. Go get him, ma'am. I love him. Oh my god. So, yeah, I, I guess I'm going to figure out. I, I feel like it makes sense to go do it right now, correct? Does this make sense? What, you need runners again? Good, I got some new contacts, some primo mercs. I need to put together a team for Rinbraku Lab. So I'm back and I sold some items because I never sell items so I could actually afford a full crew. And luckily I have other items to sell to other vendors, so we should be good with the main story too. But I'm also really, really hoping that this guy pays well because I feel like this quest is going to be a pain in the butt. So let's get started. Corporate Extraction You leave towards Phil behind and make your way into the Barrens proper, exiting civilization as you know it. With each step, the little order that still exists falls away taken over by anarchy in its purest form. All semblance of government oversight, corporate domination, even media influence disappears, leaving an urban feral landscape of bleak desperation. Yet hidden in this wreckage of a suburb, Renraku Computer Systems has hidden some sort of R&D research lab, probably to take advantage of some old tech left after the Shuo Waste nuclear power plant meltdown or the crash that decimated the computer industry in 29. You find your way into the lab. The place has definitely seen better days. No security systems are online to greet you. Just the ones made of meat. Maybe you can help a scientist make a life change. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, we're good. Alright, my peeps. Oh, great. There's a turret. I want you guys to, like, be right behind me. Oh! <laughs> oh, Drek. Um, hi. Yes, it's me. Hello. Uh, I don't know if my girl will get a good shot at this angle, but we will definitely try. All right, Coyote. You know, I want to put you right here. Because there has to be more. There's no way it's just him. But in case it is, I will put you right here so you can go ahead and take a shot. 
Oh, heck yeah! What do you know? Ah! <laughs> okay, never mind. I was wrong. <laughs> I celebrated uh, prematurely. Um... I think that's it. Are we allowed to... Speak? Oh, of, of course not. Okay, maybe uh, later, or maybe that's just off limits to us. Hmm... I wish I could <laughs> peek. Ah! Hello! Let's see. And allow myself to get into some cover. Oh! Oh! Oh, right by the, right by the bad guy. Okay. Uh, Coyote, I could really use your assistance, sweetheart. All right, let's get you right here. Hey, nice. All right, Jesse. Should I put her? Yeah, we'll put her here. That way we can get both sides covered for the guy in the back. I was gonna say, he, he should go for my girl because I'm right in front of him. <laughs> Bye bye. All right, let's go ahead and put her in some cover. All right, Coyote, we're gonna get you up close and personal. Let's see, same with you. Oh, and there's also a guy through the door there. Okay, got it. Nice. Jesse, I'm gonna go ahead and put you here. I hope that's enough of an angle she can get a shot. All right. Hey, don't run away. Don't run away. <laughs> Wait, do you have friends in here? No, but it looks like you're gonna try to... I don't know what you're gonna do, actually. Is there more? Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there is, just. This terminal has been left unlocked with root access. So we will dig through these files. There are some log files that were recently accessed and an encrypted research database. So I feel like my next playthrough, I should be a decker so I can get money. All right, let's start with the first one. 12-4-2053. We got the shipment of the sentries in from Shanxi today. Eight of them, all told. They're all medicated daily with a sedative that prevents their gaze from affecting us. And they don't try to escape or bite the equipment, either. We'll have to keep adjusting the doses so that we can get valuable combat data out of them. I think I said that wrong. That's okay. Having something this deadly in the lab always gets me on edge. One wrong dose of those meds and someone will lose an arm. That or the guys upstairs will just lock the doors and let the damn things eat us. Okay, so what do you have? 
The awakened security sentries were in varying condition when they arrived. Their general health is noted below. Good, average, average, excellent, poor. So five is... Um, not gonna be done. Okay. 124-2054. Week two of the reaction test trials finished today. Several of the subjects have an uncanny intelligence and have had no problem solving logic puzzle puzzles ahead of schedule. A subject four continues to be the standout performer in these experiments. Her sensory reaction time and problem solving skills rival that of chimpanzees. Our benefactors will be pleased if we can begin a breeding program based on her specific traits. I have already taken a sample of her DNA in advance of beginning the live combat trials just in case something goes wrong. Something always goes wrong. If you're Sada, I guess it's good because we're kidnapping you. But if you're somebody else, I need this information, this uh, goodies from you. All right, so let's look at this final log. It's like a month and a half later. 3-12-2054. The Awakened Security Sentries Project has reached final testing stages. Preliminary human experiments will begin within the next six months. I have already discussed the matter with the tier. The notes for the previous round of reaction testing on the awakened security sentry subjects are as follows. Good, poor, average, excellent, poor. So, number subject two, wasn't subject two average and everything else stayed the same? That's unfortunate. Goodbye. All right, what's going on? The smell hits you like a fist. The tang of blood, the funk of animal fowl, and something else. Something wrong. Oh, okay, so these mysterious creatures. Let us get started. Is it you? I was just kidding. Oh my god. You know, that's okay. That was, that was rude. Our girl's gonna die. Okay, so. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all, my foot fell asleep. <laughs> oh man. So I'm gonna use both of these. I have a healer, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, hi. You morons just shot up a Renraku research lab. Ever hear of Renraku? Hmm. I don't want to risk, um... I feel like at this point it's too late because we've already killed bodies, and... It would be awkward to show back up to the did like, Hey! By the way! I crossed you! <laughs> and I think we're definitely past the point of playing nice. Yeah, they're the company that's about to show a loss on their balance sheet. I have a fragging herd of basilisks, idiot. You're going to need a lot more guys. So can I pet them? Can I pet them? Subject four, it sounded like you kind of had under wraps, but you know. I don't know, I'm willing to risk it. I love animals. Even though these animals might not love me back. All right, Coyote, let's put this to some use. Let's go ahead and get some ongoing damage. Start, oof. All right, we're gonna risk it because I really want to try to get both of them. Cool. Thanks, girl. All right, you let us put into... So I don't want to put you too terribly close. Let's, let me start you here, and if I change my mind, I'll move you. What's this? Ignores armor. Hey! Uh, you know, maybe I should save it when the basilisks come in. So I imagine it stacks, right? This ongoing damage, right? Yes, we... <laughs> that was hot. Like, get it? The yeah, okay. <laughs> we don't even need to say anything else about my comments. 
All right. Let's see. All right. There we go. <sighs> oh, we can't have that now, can we? That is most unfortunate. Okay, I know it's kind of a risk, but let me, there we go. Okay, coyote. Coyote! I don't, I had a feeling. That's okay. I mean, he's in good cover. Well, let's go ahead and use the spell. 75 is not as much as I would like, but... Well, that's okay. You're kind of the one I really wanted to hit anyway. Hmm. Oh, that's right, you had ongoing damage. Oh, you just healed yourself, that's not okay. Oh, the basilisk is right beside me. I am so satisfied. Oh, Kylie, sorry. Mm. Nice. Is that it or No, 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 it's not. Oh. Okay. We have a friend. All right, into cover I will, oh, okay. Is, uh, were you gonna do this the rest of the? Okay, that's fine. Just go ahead and get everybody gathered around. All right, let's get you up here. Let's get you, we'll get you way up here. Let's go ahead. Uh, hold on. Oh, since it cut combat, that's right. We start off with full ammo. I don't have to reload. Okay. Oh, seriously? You're going to make me... Okay. That's fine. I get it. You're shy. I used to be that way too. Oh, there's two of you. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I... um. That's okay. You should be done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're done for. Cool, yeah. All right, let's put you in some cover. Let's take a shot. You might lose AP, but that's okay. There's four of us and one left. Oh, wow. They, okay. Sweet. I don't believe there was anything left for us there. Hello! Sada. The scientist looks absolutely bewildered. Who are you? Why are you doing this? You're making a career change, buddy. A career change? What, what do you mean? Wait, you're for mass technology, aren't you? I told them I wasn't interested in working for them. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Well, whoever sent me is definitely interested in you. So that's it? 
You're just going to hand me over to them? Jesus, these people. Listen to me, whoever you are. I know I'm a wage slave. I get it. But I shouldn't be a real slave, should I? All you're doing is transplanting me from one core to another so I can be an employee for life. Should I have something to say about it? Uh, I mean, what do you- I'm on a job here, my guy. What do you want me to do? What? Let me go. Just walk away. What will you do? Run? Somewhere? I don't know. But I shouldn't tell you anyway. Safer that way. <sighs> okay. Look. I feel really bad. And he might have some money for me. But... I'm going to play it safe because I'm poor. And we're going to kidnap this man. Nah, you're coming with me. Knock him out and drag him behind you. Like, I feel, I feel kind of bad. But a job is a job, okay? <laughs> I'm a terrible elf. <laughs> man. Alright, let's see, let's see what I get paid before I, uh, I'll probably um, talk with the guy, um, and then I think I'll start a new part with Johnny, just to play it safe. That way the um, missions are, like, you know, in separate recordings. <laughs> I'm so poor. <laughs> Again, luckily I do have some more items I can sell that it's enough to hire one crew member. And luckily Coyote's... We get a discount with Coyote. Hi, I hope you give me lots of new yen. My people tell me you delivered the package. Oh my gosh. That's okay. Yeah. Yep, and that wasn't a milk run. Ooh, money. Well, that's why you get paid the big bucks. Here's a cred stick. You'll find the appropriate compensation is all there. It was a pleasure doing business with you. So, of course, if I was a Decker and got all that information, we would have gotten even more. But that 9,000 new yen, plus the little bit I had left, I think, actually, I don't think I have much left at all. Anyway, it's definitely enough to hire a full crew because I still have stuff I can sell. So, yay. Um, let's see. I love how the arm is just staying there. Okay, there's Johnny with that yellow text box. So, I don't... <laughs> I'm not sure if anyone has extra dialogue. I'll start the next part. If they don't, I'll just... Oh, excuse me. Kind of skip it all and just sell items and stuff. And next time we will pick up with Johnny Clean and figure out what's up with this French dude because... Je ne sais pas. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time. I hope you're having a great day and y'all take care. Bye.